introduction. Uh, my name is Alexander Wynn, and uh, introduction, what is pop culture? Starting with the introduction, I have found that the definition of pop culture is the culmination of a large multitude of people who all embrace a particular aspect of their lives. This aspect is one that is very immediate and most usually very temporary, as it is one that is ever-changing, never to stay on one facet for long. Although what it is to me is a characteristic that very much defines what we are as a society at any particular moment in time, a very vocal part that shows humanity's present, past, and future, and where we lie. Uh, starting section one, module three, uh, I decided that week three, uh, what does it mean to be popular is the module I will talk about. My initial reaction to this module and why I found it uh, crucial was because of its per 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 pertinence to me in my everyday life. But from a sociological perspective, how the module serves to explore a phenomenon that has never before been introduced into society's past. There are modes of conception that are unlike anything ever introduced before, what had once been crude text and images on forums has evolved into an experience that consumes large components of everyone's lives. No matter where or who you are, it is unrestricted to any one group. Memes. We have a past, present, and future with it. So to not have a conversation about what it means would be severely detrimental to the world of sociology and to the people who partake in it. This module provides an educational outlook on the history of memes and a semi-updated view of how it has evolved and grown. I imagine that memes are going to continue to grow more and more into something that will be incredible. As such, maintaining up to date with memes is important, though this is just as much important as learning about its past and of its history. From, but for my more personal reasons, we as Sociologists are people who study a subject that involves learning about the good, bad, and neutral of society in a lot of other facets. Sociologists are people who are meant to bring awareness or to make change happen in society, and that requires having to feel too. So if memes are intended to bring a certain feeling, and my own personal feelings towards memes should be just as important. Memes are a wonderful creation that can be shared with people and created for anyone by anyone. And that is something that, is, that inspires me. The concept of being able to share and create un, unrestricted from who you are, what you are, race, ethnicity, and the like is incredible. And it makes me think of how humanity can be so cool, or maybe it's a feeling of admiration towards what humanity can show or have, or at least it is best when it is done well. So the importance of asking what is sociology lies in if you find importance in learning and about how society works. The structures that make up our lives and how we function together and apart. So regardless of whether you like it or not, we as a species can be studied through what sociology is. These functions have a direct impact on people's lives and how people can and will live. A majority of people do find that this is important, and especially if it has a direct impact or effect on them which also gives sociology its importance. <clears throat>
Section two, uh, reading. <clears throat> Schiffman's memes in a digital world reconciling with the conceptual troublemaker. In this module, we learn about the concept that envelops a large part of the modern age that is ever present and constantly changing with its distinguishing feature being its ability to be funny. Summed up in a word is memes, a concept that has difficult to research, difficult to define but a concept that has been given a new mode of transport for humanity to connect with one another. A truly remarkable part of society, yet with some harrowing Latin effects. People's lives have also suffered immensely in ways that are often overlooked. Memes are unrestricted by anyone which gives its reins to the people, left to its own devices, allowing it to run amok, picking people up or dropping them off, along with running over the occasional person without remorse. As it was similarly done, uh, as for one example was Britney Spears. Uh, as we talked about in Mantra. Um, nevertheless, it is a large part of popular culture as it can be introduced in every niche and in every pop culture group. A universal part of popular culture and of society. Schiffman was trying to convey all of this uh, in in this article we it provides an educational outlook on the history of memes and their evolution it describes how memes are about connecting to one another uh, in his words exactly we're matchmaking uh, how digital culture is a concept and how memes can be used to understand it. Though because of how big it is, there is no one definition of memes and of what they can be. And it is difficult to break them down into simple terms. But just as well, it can be, it can be overcome. Uh, memes are a microcosm of society uh, that then develops the macro systems of society. Uh, with with this reading, I feel that I can look at memes uh, from a more macro lens instead of the micro lens I've always seen it as, and. As a majority of people, I feel most likely are experiencing it and not really uh, looking into it. it. Is more of an experience, and this this reading and the module itself helped give uh, memes <laughs> a a more professional, maybe not professional, but more educational. Uh, perspective that I I've not really looked at before, and uh, I can I can at least see it from how I originally viewed it as it's just uh, funny, 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 haha, and now I can look into it, and when I see a meme, I can I can I I'm I'm always questioning like the, if. How, why, why it was made, uh, why it was made now at this specific time, and 
I think that this reading uh, really uh, provides a very uh, unique touch as it is something that was only, uh, it was made during the 2000s generation and memes since then the, with the 10 years the difference between the two there's a large difference in how it was now and how it is then or uh, then yes and so uh, originally this reading definitely posits a lot of the uh, more the bad stuff about memes but I think nowadays it has grown into something that is uh, a lot more uh, a lot bigger than it ever has been before and uh, although the reading does provide very good basic outlooks I think there's a lot more in it that has now changed since then uh, section three uh, media uh, so for what I've chosen I'm going to take advantage of uh, all the Bo Burnham stuff I can now before we learn about it later in the semester and provide my own perspective of Bo Burnham before uh, learning more about him uh, uh, through a sociological lens. And of the many songs I was considering, uh, and most especially anything and everything in Bo Burnham's Inside, uh, movie slash album uh, I think I'm going to take it The Chicken from his outtakes uh, I think this this piece of media is a prime example of uh, pop culture because of all the other songs they're very they're not very subtle well, at least not very subtle of how it explains popular culture to take give for example is Bo Burnham's every uh, welcome to the internet. It's very uh, well. It literally gives a very on the nail. This is what the internet is, but with Bo Burnham's the chicken, it's 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 very silly, and yet also very almost. Uh, it gives it gives a. It makes the uh, the listener feel a sense of empathy towards what ends up being a joke. It's um, known as probably one of the most, the oldest jokes of all time, but uh, the joke of why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? And that joke is very boring, overused, and known. But uh, this song expands into how the chicken uh, has been given feelings to similar to how anyone else is and so if we go to the lyrics of the chicken wakes up like she does every morning to the sounds of her husband's scream uh, we can see how the chicken has been given the pronoun she you know, uh, similar to us and gives us a feeling of empathy towards this uh, chicken um the very next morning, the chicken decides to make her escape, get a taste of freedom. And this is something I feel is a feeling that a lot of people have and something people can empathize with as well. A lot of the songs about creating empathy in the beginning towards this chicken. Uh, and later on in the song, all of a sudden, she stops in the middle, frozen in place by a pair of headlights. It's anyone's guess what then happened next. But most think she died. Uh, and so we see how this, this story has all just been leading up to the butt of the joke. Why did chicken cross the road? Uh, well, the reason was her escape, getting his freedom and understanding that is creating this deeper connection to what was originally a very silly, very stupid kind of joke. 
Uh, but um, Will Burnham continues on to say, but I think we ought to believe that she got to the other side. Uh, it's, it's, I think this is kind of uh, possibly a way of this song saying that uh, <laughs> saying that uh, there's more to it than just what is a simple joke and there's more of a deeper feeling and this, this deeper thought and feelings behind every every joke or humor people and even that what we only see what we saw on the outside, but underneath there's way more going on into this. And I think this this is a prime example of pop culture because this song is originally from a silly joke that is known by a wide, vast majority of people. And to then create a whole song that came from what is only a maybe a five second joke into an entire song with musical score and lyrics and a story to create a sense of empathy for the person who watches and listens to this uh, it's uh perhaps what i think is a great example of how pop culture is deeper than we can currently imagine I think it has something that's going to grow out of it uh, it's, it's definitely deeper than whatever surface feelings I have currently right now about what it is and the more I learn about it I know it's going to be like that too uh, and it's again like in the, uh, the reading before it is the sense of connection matchmaking as I said before it's this song is trying to uh, connect with us, the viewer, as this the writer is trying to connect with us in his own way, their humor, but also what is, I think, sadness as well, maybe loneliness. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs>